Hello all. In this uh, video, we will uh, I'll be showing how to create an infolet and then how to add that infolet into a uh, home page layout. Uh, so for that, uh, I'm taking opportunity subject area. So where I'm just exposing number of opportunities. Okay. And then uh, I'll go to results. And here, uh, so since I added already, so, but uh, I, can, I just exposed number of opportunities. So if we go to use, uh, we have, we can see a performance style. So just select this performance style and you will be seeing, uh, so here in the measures, only the, uh, uh, the aggregations. So the expressions, the columns with aggregations will show up here. Uh, not all will not all will show if you use sum or average or mean uh, so these kind of expressions then uh, those columns will will shown here so here you can change label name and description everything and you can format uh, using formatting so change different color or a different effect different size all that you can select and uh, this is how the tile will look like and here uh, the in styles we have different uh, uh views small medium large so and the method the the way the background or uh, the method of representing so it it has some sample uh, methods so you can select any one uh, which is fine so i just selected this one and i will click done so um and i will expose this into the ui Okay, and then I'm removing a table. If you want uh, to display any tile, just uh, give it the uh, name here. But as of now, uh, we don't need anything. Just click done. And save this report. give a name and then uh, save this report into uh, shared folders. Uh, so so now our, uh, our tile is created. So now we need to add uh, this into uh, uh, our home page. Right for that, uh, you you must uh, activate page composer. Okay. Uh, so here in the analytics area, we are going to add this uh, tile that we just created. So here we have uh, different uh, tabs, sales, service, uh, user defined, and my dashboard, order to cash. So there are different for different modules. Uh, we have different tabs, and uh, we can we can add anything, um, uh, any of the uh, or um, OBAE content in, in in these particular areas. So uh, to edit any of this area, you just need to uh, select page composer. So select page composer and uh, then come down. So here uh, uh, on clicking on info, infolet repository button, uh, you will get an option to uh, see the uh, available infolets. Uh, some are disabled, right? So, and uh, you can enable those or if, if you can also create uh, infolet or uh, and you can re you can also reorder the existing uh, infolets so now we are going to create a new infolet just click on create infolet uh, give it uh, my or all opportunities so this is the infolet title and we have uh, different dimensions here one to one or two to one or three to one. So 
the 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 input will look like um if we select like this so the length and width will be one is to one and this will be uh, length will be two uh two times with width so like that the dimensions are available so we can select any one uh, that that will suit for us and then back view enable back view uh, and expand view right these are uh, some uh, additional options so once we uh, so, so it's a front side so if if we uh, if we don't select this one only front view will be available but if you select back view and uh, expanded view, so we can see uh, different views and we can select those different views also. So just select, uh, for now we, we will select uh, both back view and expanded view. Uh, you see expanded view is two into one by default. So these are default options. You can change it uh, later, but back view, is, back view will be uh, like uh, front view. The size of uh, size, the same size will be applicable for both back uh, front view and back view. But expanded view, we can select uh, uh, the width we want. Now save and close. We we have not uh, yet added any content. We are just creating a, a infolet area. Okay. So now here you can see uh, this is a back view. So there is a, some uh, arrow mark. If you click on this, back view will be. Uh, shown and uh, and in the same way we can see expandable view if you want to go back to front view you can click on this back arrow uh, if you want to check expanded view just click on expanded view the size will be uh, it will show uh, with the uh, with more width okay so now, uh, if you are in the application composer, uh, um, if you are in the page composer uh, tool, and if you activate that, and then you you can see um, add content button. So just click on add content. Select your folder, uh, reports and analytics, BA uh, presentation server, Shared folders, custom, X, and this is our up uh, our tile. So I'm selecting that tile. I add it. So now you can see it is loading and it will give the result. So the tile we just created in the report, we have added into this area. So if you want, uh, we can still customize this. Uh, if you want to, if you have any abbreviations, right? Uh, suppose 100 will be 1K. So like that also we can uh, define. And we can we can change some width and uh, 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 length, okay. And then also we can um, uh, if we don't want uh, if you don't want description, we can remove this description, okay. And if you want to show. Uh, with with uh, with more size, then you can change it. Width can be one fifty. Since uh, number of opportunities is not showing properly, so we have changed this. Save. Then just uh, refresh. So now it is showing with the with properly. 
so similarly for uh, back view uh, whatever the back uh, back view content you want to add just add in the back view content and uh, the expandable com content you may add uh, uh, like a related report or uh, in the back end uh, for back view you can add a detailed report uh, or different view and uh, so and also we can enable links on uh, this so if for uh, for this count if we enable uh, link if we enable uh, interaction links here the same will be applied here and uh, like this we can we can if we cl click on this it will navigate to that report so this is how we can add infolets uh, to the uh, analytics page in home page so that is all about uh, infolets thank you